Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be diving into Substance and we'll be creating two ring textures. So I've got those two, I wasn't sure which one's gonna fit better uh, to my effect, so I just made uh, two of those. We're gonna recreate those two in Substance, so maybe you can learn some new techniques. But let me just isolate for you what we'll be making. As you can see here, I've got this uh, texture with a noise applied to it. And the main purpose of that one is just to cover his fist and add a bit more intensity uh, to the front of that uh, melee attack. All right, so let's dive into Substance and let's create uh, those two textures. So in Substance we're going to do two textures. First one I'm going to start with a Cells Noise. I'm going to decrease the scale of it slightly. And maybe to something like um, 9. Next I'm going to invert it. And from that I'm just going to use a Shape Mapper. I'm going to get rid of the radius down to 0 increase the width up to one and for the part pattern amount I'm gonna go with one if I want a bit more details there I can always come back here and increase the scale however I'm just gonna keep it maybe seven let's keep it seven and I'm gonna blend it with the circle so that would be shape and I'm got, gonna get this soft circle blended with multiply uh, blending mode Next, I'm going to use Warp and for the Warp Intensity, I'm just going to use Perlin Noise with a low scale. And I'm going to increase the Warp Intensity here, maybe I'm going to start with 5. As you can see, it's kind of distorting the whole texture quite a bit. So I think value of 2 uh, might, be a, might be a good value to go for. I'm gonna see if our tiling is messed up uh, by pressing space on this uh, viewport. It looks okay. If it does on yours, then you might um, wanna decrease the warp a little bit or maybe grab that texture with transform and scale it down slightly and before you're gonna warp it. Okay, so next I'm gonna use a slope, a blur grayscale. I'm gonna go for the shape again with that soft circle plug it into the slope, increase the samples and for the intensity I'm gonna try to go to minus value, something like minus 5. I'm gonna start with minus 5 and maybe drag it into minus 10 actually and I'm gonna blend those back in uh, like that, that one to the top so I can control the opacity of it and that will be maybe set to max. And now if you use the opacity slider, you can see you're getting this nice trailing behind it. I would like to get some glow as well. So I'm going to get our original texture, uh, blur it and blend it and back in as well. I think I just want this to be the other way around. Uh, set it to max. And now we are having this additional glow and our tiling is not messed up. Next, I'm just gonna run it through auto levels. And I think I'm just gonna get another slope blur. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste it here with the same settings. And I'm just gonna blend this back in uh, to our texture. I'm going to change its mode. I'm going to try different ones to see which one my oh, works best for me. And I think the max is a, it would be the best. Probably going to increase the intensity or maybe do it the other way around. So go outwards if you like. 
but quite prefer to go on the minus values even more, maybe minus 15. Okay, next I'm gonna go for levels so I can adjust it um, those manually. Next, gradient map, just to see how it might look with the colors. I'm gonna select that one, maybe go for blue. So that one will be bright blue and maybe at the end I'm gonna have a much darker blue. And I'm just gonna move those around like this. I think that secondary might be slightly darker and even go a little bit into the purples. And the last bit might be the glow. So I'm going to get glow, go for the bright uh, blue color and play with those settings just to see if I could get some really nice results with that glow. Okay, now you can go back here while you're having the color selected and just play with those settings to check which one might work uh, best for you. For the blur mode, also try uh, a different ones like Max. I think Max might give us really good results because that's going to increase that trailing behind those uh, edges. And now if you go to levels, you can see you can just increase the intensity of those edges. So play a bit with the levels and the gradients. I'm going to export that texture because I think it just it gives me really good results. And that's our one texture done. And let's try to do something a little bit similar, but we're going to use a different approach. So with the next one, I'm going to start with a tile sampler. I'm going to change the amount maybe to a seven by seven. I'm going to select the texture or pattern to be uh, that soft circle. Keep scrolling down, gonna increase its scale, scale random as well, position random. And I think last bit I wanna actually tweak will be and the color random as well. Somewhere to 0.9 or around 0.9. I think maybe the scale random is a little bit too much, so just gonna bring it back to maybe 0.5. And the scale gonna actually increase it slightly to maybe 2.5. And next, I'm going to use Edge Detect. I'm going to get rid of Edge Roundedness. And here I'm just going to use a non-uniform directional or gray scale. I'm going to get pedal and noise because that will I will need that for the first input. And I'm going to get cells 1 as well because that will go to the last input. I'm going to run um, both of those through Blur with the default settings. That one goes here, that one's there. And for the intensity, I'm gonna try maybe 20, maybe even 30. Put some random warp angle trail mode to min. You can try different settings if you want. I think those gave me the best results. And for the trail length, I'm gonna go above one. So I'll go maybe with three. And the curve, you can just go whenever you want. I'm gonna go on to the minus values actually or somewhere in between like minus 0.6. And last bit I'm gonna invert the grayscale and that's what we've got for the texture. And I'm gonna blur it a little bit because I think some of the edges are just too sharp for me. Decrease the intensity maybe to just one and next, I'm just going to use a shape mapper. A radius 0, width 1, pattern 1. And I'm just going to go to our other graph where we have a shape mapper. And we've got it here. I think, yeah. So let me copy the graph. Just want to use exactly the same inputs and see if they're going to give me um, similar results. I'm just going to copy paste it here, the whole graph. 
get rid of the first part of the graph up to shape mapper and that one I'm just gonna plug it into our graph that we've already made and go to the end obviously that's way too overblown and so just gonna get rid of levels but I think up to here we okay so we got really cool results with that one I think the only issue is actually no it kind of tiles uh, okay as well so it might be a good idea after this to get transform scale it down a little bit while holding alt and shift I'm gonna get rid of the tiling on it as well down to no tiling in here you can see some of the edges are very sharp so I'm just gonna use a blur not that much maybe just one or two and you can export that texture or maybe ramp up intensity of the blur maybe up to two and now you can get a uh, get gradient map and I'm just gonna add some colors to it like a maybe orange here and maybe dark red here so that one needs to be slightly more orange and bring that white a bit and next I'm gonna use a glow increase the amount and play with those glow settings okay so as you can see we got two textures they um, sort of similar but it depends what kind of amount of details you're going for so that one in my opinion is a bit more stylized it's got very soft uh, texture to it it's got a few maybe sharp edges here and there however that one's got a uh, I think a lot more details based on those curves it just um, yeah it's just a lot going on there so it depends what you need it for uh, they have two very similar approaches but it gives you slightly different look for those textures so again it depends what you need those for uh, and yeah whenever you can just try to copy your graph instead of starting from scratch and to be honest I just made having this one first and then I found this approach and I thought I'm just gonna duplicate the whole graph see if that fits and in my opinion it did uh, but if you want to do something slightly different after we get into this uh, blur or shape mapper just feel free to experiment and maybe you're going to discover uh, something else on your own all right so two textures and uh, very simple graph i think especially once you include the copying pasting stuff so i hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next one